fans of Privateer FX coming at you 23 January. It's Wednesday. BOJ is coming gone. Uh, not too much to uh, not too much to talk about there. Woefully distant on their inflation targets. Uh, trying to move their inflation targets down. Yen uh, yen goes down, up, down. <coughs> Dollar yen goes up. Yen goes down. The high's been 80. Um, we're at 63 now. This is a chance to sell dollar yen. Uh, 63 is probably not the greatest number to sell this, um, but there's a chance we just don't see 80 again, uh, since it was kind of comment driven. We're gonna dip our toes into shorts dollar yen here, based on. Just general risk off. I mean, yesterday S&P was down 37, almost 38 points. Dow was down 300. Uh, treasuries higher. Today we have existing home sales for. Dis uh, I'm sorry. Today we have uh, U.S. FSFA home prices. Richmond Fed. Some earnings coming out. Um, from a number of uh, number of companies, it just looks kind of tepid, right? Doesn't really look uh, like we're gonna have much much power on the upside. Equities, you know, S and P's are up at twenty six thirty six. Uh, this doesn't really look to me like we're gonna get above this twenty six fifty now. And so, all of that said, we are sellers of dollar yen. 65 here, maybe for tiny, uh, and maybe then we'll wait because the stop has to be above uh, 109, uh, 110, 22. So you're gonna have to wait for the 90s for your next uh, round of sales, and you have to size it accordingly. You need a stop that's far away. Um, can't just plunge in with perhaps a full amount um, with 60 point risk on the top side because we're not going to be holding this for 600 points um, which would be a 10 to 1 risk reward which is what we normally like on a normally sized trade anyway uh, let's go to cable this was mysteriously bid yesterday. A lot of different cable, a lot of different Brexit pieces coming to, coming into the fore here. Corbyn now is like opening the door to another referendum, which obviously is going to be massively sterling positive. Uh, all the polling says that um, the British public is just sick of this and they just want to change their mind on this. So. There's that, and then there's the sort of forced deal, forced May deal, which could happen. Either way, looks like we're coming to an end on this, and the only real negative left in this whole Brexit nonsense is uh, is a no deal. And since nobody, it's in nobody's best interest to have a no deal, um, I think we can just assume that that's not going to happen. Europe doesn't want that to happen. The UK doesn't want that to happen. So, I don't think Theresa May wants that to happen. Certainly Parliament, as pussy as they are, uh, don't want the blame for that. So it looks like Cable's going to test this key 130 level. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. This is sort of the downward sloping trend line from, from May last year, the 134 highs. It really kind of defines this gentle downward trend comes in today this comes in today at like 130.17 I think what we can say is an hourly close above 130 we're going to bust through this and then we're going to test this 200 day um, which is all the way up at 130.72 so we think there's some money to be made in sterling today uh, we're very cautious about the currency pair as everybody knows um, but long cable looks to be the way. Your first point of interest is above yesterday's high, which is 75. 
So if we start seeing prices above 75, we're going to enter into the long side with the idea that eventually 130 is going to trade and then 130.17 is going to trade. And we're looking for a very similar type of price action that we saw through this area here, the 129. Uh, the 12930 uh, and then the 12895. So as you saw, we're, we're bullish, we're bullish, we're bullish. Go up 23, but then oh shit, down to 83, up and down, up and down, and then we finally had some clear sailing, sort of once we cleared 40. But we're looking for a bullish run up. Uh, similar to this so you got to keep it light you got to be flexible um, and this is one of our themes for today sterling higher the other theme dollar yen lower we'll just look at this real quick again um, it would be very much like dollar yen to print 10990 and then have a little double top up there like I said, we're dipping our toes in short. Um, dollar yen here at 65. We'll be reselling between 90 and 95 with you know stops above 110.22. These are two uh, two trades we we really like today. Crude uh, turned yesterday. We did not pull the trigger. We had the we had a little buy signal there at, at 52.12. Our history with crude trading isn't that great, but I just want to point this pattern out here. This is obviously any monkey who's ever looked at a chart, uh, whether you're in the third grade or you're 75 years old, is going to end up seeing this as an inverted head and shoulders, a pretty big one. These kind of patterns attract a lot of attention. Um, this will, at some point this week, probably go 54. 30 could be the trigger, or 54, 55 could be the trigger. You could draw this line here for the neckline. So you take this. This could easily be the neckline. The horizontal at 55 could be the neckline. But this is just something to watch. There's some money to be made here. I'm not saying oil is going back to 70 bucks, but what I am saying is every CTA in the world and every commodity. Uh, trading facility will be looking at this pattern um, so it's worth watching we're still you know we're still over a buck away so uh, don't get too overly excited now let's have a look at our friends um, Aussie as you know we're, we're sellers where is Aussie? we're sellers um, Sellers Aussie core short. We didn't quite get paid last night. We're we're reselling in this 45-55 area. Uh, 43 the 43 the high. We're at 38, but you know we bought some down there um, at 23. Now we're reselling. Could probably sell today at 48 now because um, we could easily get up to this 60 area. But in general, uh, we like Aussie lower still. We think this trade nonsense, no matter what happens. Um, we're not, you know, it's going to be a poor result or a result that's unfollowable, shall we say? Um, I.e., China's just going to lie, and the market's kind of getting that through their head now. So we like Aussie to continue to trend lower. Looks like we have a little horizontal line here at 71.22, but we prefer a core short uh, as we don't see a massive catalyst on this. So core short Aussie is still the way. I'll leave you with that. Um, ECB obviously tomorrow, and uh, we got a little more housing data today, and we'll just be watching the headlines and the stock market. Good luck out there, people. We'll talk to you soon.